Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Buff Geek here, joined by... What up guys, it's David here. You like my little dramatic pause there? Yeah, I, th- I thought you were going to go face first into the mic. You thought I was you... going to go... Uh, uh. No, no I didn't because you're hashtag not hashtag Steve. Steve. <laughs> you're not he. Well, god damn. It's been a quick week, right? Yeah, it's been a pretty quick week actually. It's been yeah. a really quick week. Mm. And I'm quite thankful for that because... I'm coming towards the weekend, and yep. my weekend is planned to watch um, films three and four in the Hellraiser series, Ooh, okay. and play Resident Evil 4 nice. on the Xbox and potentially complete it. Yes. Probably not this weekend. How far are you into it? Uh, like third level. Right, okay, so but, you, you're heading, right, okay, you've gone past the church then, the first time in the church. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I've, I've killed uh, El Gigante. Yes, yeah. Killed him already. One and of then them. One of them. Yeah. Um, basically, right now, I'm feuding with the little um, the little kind of Napoleon guy. Uh, Ramon Salazar. Yes. Yes. So that was that. That's like halfway through, right? That's the name of the... the... I always find this really funny. That is the name of one of the characters in 24 Season 3 as well. Ramon Salazar. Really? Yeah. Almost, yeah. No, is it? so he's like the bad guy, but then Jack and him end up having to try and break out of jail or something. I can't remember. Jack's undercover. It's very, very gripping. I just feel like I'm too far gone with 24. I, I don't know. Like I think it's possibly timeless. Or at least it's got a good shelf life because it was quite almost like cutting-edge advanced, obviously false technology that they used in it. Of course. And yeah, that's probably... what they all have. It's like CSI. Let's just run it through this, cross this with this, 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 this. And this. No, can't fucking do that. Oh, I found them on the facial print recognition on the traffic cams. Uh, no, the resolution on that shit. What a good way to scare people, though. Yeah, yeah, make people think that people, like these government agencies can actually... Bullshit. Yeah. That camera over there, I I, I wanted to get some, um, some footage from it. Yep. Yep. And there's no way, no how to get it. And then they even said to me, the police even said to me, you know what? Even if we got, we probably couldn't, couldn't tell one individual from the next. Mm-hmm. The 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 quality of them. The quality is shit. Because they need to store so many days worth, and I think it's you a know month. How, you know how much yeah, and you know how much video takes up in your laptop. Yeah. Could you imagine you've got hundreds of cameras all around the town taking high definition video, twenty four seven. It's not looking for intricacies. It's looking for like mass riot or something like that. They That's should, what they're looking for. They should be on time lapse detection. Basically, any changes in scene, it'll record. And that oh, way, it doesn't okay. need to be running constantly. Would that not mean that as soon as six o'clock hits, it would just go dead almost? And Possibly, then every, yeah. But and then they switch on every time someone walks down the street because yeah, but it'll be running during the day. Yeah. and then if it stops, if it detects no movement for, say, ten minutes or something, mm. then it switches off. That's the thing. And that way, if they're not always recording all the time. If that no movement is a body lying in the middle of the street or somebody hurt, injured or whatever, not moving, because they're, you know, they could be alerted to that by the fact, oh, this camera switched on, let's have a little look and see what's going on. Yeah. And oh, let's get a knife. Okay, we'll come back to it later. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that way it would work in terms of no one needs to call the police or an ambulance service or whatever. Or a super team of superheroes. Or a super team of superheroes indeed. If only there was such a team. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Eh? We should, like, make up a team. Why don't we? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. What are we going to talk about in today's podcast? We're going to talk about a team of four of your chosen... Can be heroes, can be villains. Can be anything. Can be anything. So a team of your chosen, what, fantasy characters, should we call yeah, them? Yeah, dream team, fantasy dream characters, team. something yep. like that. And you're going to choose one from anime. Yep. One from... Computer games. Yep. One from DC mm-hmm. and one from Marvel. Yep. And for the sake of argument, I'm going to say that you can't be like, "Oh, I choose this this character from this Marvel game." Yeah. As well, so you get two Marvel and this guys. This Marvel in it. anime, like Punisher. Yeah. Or Iron Man: Rise of Extremis, or something like that. Yeah, it can't be that. Mm-hmm. You got. You, we're not letting you work the system. Yeah. Cheats. And we're gonna we're gonna be expecting people to play along at home. Yeah. And we'll probably post pictures of our our, our teams at some yes. point, right? Yeah, my winning team, uh, the winning team. Um, I think my team was is going to crush your team. 
I think one of my characters will crush your entire team, actually. I think one of my team is not crushable. Hmm. So, how'd you like them eggs? I don't think it's possible. <laughs> I do not think it's even possible that you could beat my team. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll soon see. But I think we clued in some of the guys onto this one, didn't we? We surely did. Who? So hopefully we're going to just phone around some of the team and some of the unofficial team and see what their thoughts are and what their suggestions are. Well, who comes up on your phone first? First up, it would be Stu. Purely because he has a baby. Baby could wake up. So we want to just phone him, get him out of the way, and yeah. let him get back to waiting for the baby to wake up. Yes, and, and Stu, um, I, I actually read that message you sent us, and um, I didn't reply to because I'm a cock. So um, <laughs> It's another C word I use, but same idea. Yeah. So thanks for all for all that input, and um, it, was, it was actually pretty helpful, and I'm, I'm glad that you were digging the, the MCU movie review kind of roundup episode it was fun it was fun yeah i try. i tried to help help your brother out with that man but he just wouldn't he just <laughs> didn't even try don't need to defend yourself he's not listening right now oh yeah good point yeah it's fine. <laughs> are you calling let's no i'm david oh okay yeah i was waiting on someone else oh i don't have his number what an idiot you don't have his number <laughs> how must... much of a failure are you he must have changed his number so, In other words, he doesn't want to speak to you. Maybe, that's it. Better message him and tell him to call you then. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll go on to the next one in the list. Hashtag. It's Steve. It's Steve. Let's oh, go. this is going to be good. Video call Steve. Oh, yeah, I to see his, his beautiful face as well. Let's go for that's it. Exciting. So this is Steve coming up with this shite team, no doubt. Not that I'm being cruel or anything, but... A little bit cruel. Should we have gone over our teams first? Are we revealing our teams at the end? No, we're going to take in all the teams and then we'll drop in our teams ah. and then we'll try and decide who's got the best teams. All ah, right, okay. So I think we're interrupting Celebrity Big Brother. Hello. Hello. Are hey! We... How Celebrity Big Brother? Shit! Terrible? Yeah. <laughs> Are you on your own right now? Eh? Are you alone right now? Why are you wearing that? Well, just because you've got, like, a bra on your head and a pair of fishnet stockings on, that's weird. Is that a sex doll in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, we didn't realise that you skipped the podcast because your wife was away and you wanted to have Steve time. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking after the kids. Oh, wait, oh, is, is that kids. what you call it, eh? Yeah. yeah. I call it jerking off. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. <laughs> So, Steve, you, you know why we phoned. You yes. know why we phoned. Was it about this task that I put a lot of effort in? Uh, you know, all five minutes on You Google. googled someone else's team, yeah. <laughs> they did not. <laughs> what an absolute cockbag. Dude, I'm, 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 I, you're all, your comic book knowledge is way beyond mine. I, I struggled. Know not a lot at all. I, I really struggled with this one. Right, so what you got then? So, Marvel. Uh, I texted you because I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but I can't be asked reading all that. No, I didn't. So, what was there? So One Marvel. See, the, 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 the one I had in my head before I started reading it was the Beyonder. I didn't know much about it. But the, when I was reading up about some of the stuff, they were saying the Beyonder is only vested by the one above all. Okay. So, so I kind of thought I'd chuck that one in, but I know really nothing about them. But according to what I was reading, which wasn't much, isn't a bit huge amount of time in it. Wikipedia. You know, is it saying that he's the only? No, it wasn't Wikipedia. <laughs> he's the only Marvel person that is what they called omni, om, omnipotent or omnipresent. Omnipotent. All oh, right. Okay. Well, there's 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 three ah, so things. There's omni- everywhere at all times and all that. Kind yeah. Of malarkey. So, but I don't know how true that is because I would have thought other people in Marvel world would have been like that. Well, so, omnipotent. I'm a bit confused with that one. Yeah. Well, there's omnipresent, om, om, omnipotent, and something else. Yeah, but you can get a little blue pill to fix that. <laughs> and you've already done your job, you know? You've already cracked out two of them. <laughs> so, see, then I wasn't kind of stuck in two minds, because I thought, well, if you pick one person from either Uh-oh. Marvel or DC, yep. it'd, be, it'd be a god. You could pick whoever the fuck you wanted for the other categories. It didn't matter. 
So I was like, oh, I could go Batman, or maybe I'll go Superman, or I don't know what I'll go. Uh, and then I was just, I was reading some more stuff, and apparently there's this dude, I actually don't even remember what his name was, but I did text you. That's really uh, helpful. Was he Preacher or something? Pre- oh, presence. Preacher with the Word of God. The Presence, yeah, basically DC's version of God. Now, oh, right, okay, okay. So this is a different though, Preacher. Could, could Flash do his malarkey, do the whole time travel, you know what, get past them, I don't really know. Because I do like that whole thing that he can... He can just reset timeline, cause havoc as much as he wants. Yep. Um, but we'll go we'll go for who is effectively the comic version of God in the DC world. So okay, we'll chuck so him in there. That's Preacher. After that, then, I know my anime... Um, I, I've watched hardly any of it. I don't really know much about it at all. It's all the stuff so with thought, Octopus's fucking girls, eh? That's so good. I mean... What? What? I don't know what so you're talking so about. So I chucked in Major from Ghost in the Shell because it's probably the only thing I've actually watched in full. Albeit it was years ago when I was a kid, and Scar Joe's just done a version not so long ago. So I was like, yeah, I'll take our please, I'll do. Um, and then Gaming World. This is where I got a bit confused and stuff. Because I thought, well, if injustice counts, give me soups. What raging, raging Superman? Anything. Yeah, I thought I'll take him. I'll take him from injustice. But if that doesn't count, doesn't count, and we're going for game character, game character. Yep. I thought, well, give me Cloud from Final Fantasy VII because he beat Sephiroth, and I think you had said you were going to put him in yours. And I thought, well, I'm going to take that and I'm going to beat you with a little Cloud <laughs> and his fast sword. Yeah. Okay. Cloud and the Buster Sword. He's going for it. Cloud and the Buster Sword. Nice. Um. So is that Omni slash Cloud? Then yep. Yep. Eh? Is that Cloud's uh, Omni Slash then is your special what? attack? I don't think he's hearing you. No, I don't think so either. He looks befuddled, it's funny. Uh, 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 that's what it's like. Right, okay. <laughs> I thought he was transforming there. I thought you were going to change <laughs> into a giant meter maid. What film's that from, folks? Uh, you don't know either, do you? Nope. Oh well, Steve, it's been fun. Cheers for your team. You'll hear how it's done. Catch you later. Bye. Oh right, okay, so he's brought out the Beyonder yes. for Marvel. Uh-huh. Um the the preacher from DC, I don't really know much about him. Right, yep. Um Major from Ghost in the Shell. Major's not particularly powerful. Gotta say. And Cloud from Final Fantasy Seven. It's quite it's quite interesting. Yeah, so, uh, he is, he's talking about Jesse Custer. Whoa, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy frog just went past. He's talking about Jesse Custer. That must be who he's talking about, who basically... There's a TV series which is now out. It's a, it's a Garth Ennis um, and Steve Dillon book. I can't, it came out a while ago. It's one of the first comics I ever actually read. And he's basically a preacher with the word of God. Okay. So... Like, whenever he's got text written in red in the comics, what he says must be obeyed. Okay. Like, in the first volume, one of the guys is pissing him off and he says, stay on this beach and count the grains of sand till you reach a million. Like that. And so, like, four volumes later, this guy appears again, totally insane, full beard, because he's had to sit and count a million. And you see him, like, a volume in, losing count and stuff. So, like, it's, it's quite funny. But, yeah, so, if, uh... Yeah, Jesse, Jesse Custer's not a bad shout because if he tells you to do something, you do it. Okay. You can't help yourself. You're compelled to do it. That's fair. That's fair. Lose. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Match is over. Major was just kind of reasonably robust and had heightened centers and shit, you know? So. Is Major the main character, like yeah. Scarjo's character? Yeah, in the, right? I mean, I, I could be I could be wrong, but I mean, uh, she fights a a large robotic kind of tank thing that is nowhere near like near on the level of say an Iron Man right armor, and she almost gets bust from that, but she does manage to defeat it. So squad her off is so she's not terribly powerful. Right, okay. Um, Cloud from Final Fantasy Seven. It's pretty, de- pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, his, his argu- basically, if you say Cloud beat Sephiroth that one time, so that makes him solid. Sephiroth was going to destroy the planet. 
with a meteor. Yeah. So. So that makes Cloud reasonably pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to be up there. Mm-hmm. However, I don't think people, when they think about... He's beat Sephiroth twice, though. I beat him in the movie as well, eh? Yeah, Event Children, yeah. I, I was actually I watching a bit of that at the weekend. How were you? So good. So good. Um, I used Sephiroth's um, theme music as my entrance music yeah. once. One Winged Angel. Yeah. It's amazing. When it really kicks in. Yeah. Oh, really yeah. nice. Um, and the Beyonder... Um, so the Beyonder, I, I never read any comic book arcs with him. I saw him in the Spider-Man cartoon. So later on, the Spider-Man cartoon in the 90s, he came into it. I don't know if you remember this, but then they brought in Fantastic Four, X-Men, Madam Web and all that. Madam well. Web, all this kind of stuff, yeah. And he was always considered to be hella powerful. And um, I actually got the, the Omni words here. And there was actually a description of what they were that I remember reading a while ago. Because one of the things that I'm always interested in is who the most powerful being is. Mm-hmm. So I was... I might get my information wrong when I do my list a little bit because it's been a while because I've not researched it, but I just had to find out what the fucking names were, <laughs> basically. But um, you've got Omnipotent, Omnipresent, and Omniscient. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know what the differences are between them, but I think one is one is like magical, one is so, Omnipotent time. is like godlike. Yeah. Uh, omnipresent, did you say? Yeah, always That's probably, there. yeah, always everywhere kind of thing. And Omnipotent, I think, is something to do with... Um, That's Omnipotent. Everyone says omnipotent, but it's omnipotent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's om- omnipotent. Yeah, yeah. Omni- uh, om- Why did you say omnipotent? Or something? Omniscient. Omniscient. That's the one that threw me I on. don't know what that means. No. Uh, I'm sure one of them had something to do with science, yeah, one has something to do with time, and one has something to do with like, m- magic or it reality. It's pretty fucking powerful, though. But that's not the Beyonder's powers. That's just the explanation just of those things. But I believe the, pi- the, the Beyonder is omniscient. Omniscient. But I could be wrong there. You, right. you check him up. I, I was just looking at him. I was just looking at something else there. So that's pretty tasty. That's not a bad team. Right, shall we phone up Stu and see where he's got to go? Uh, yes, let's phone Stu. Stu, Stu, Stu. Stu, 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 Stu. Stu. Let's try a video call. Yeah, I've never even seen Stu before. This would be exciting. Do, do, well, do. Ooh, Facebook Messenger ring. Do, 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 do. Oh, he, he didn't. He refused to answer a video call. Oh, what a dick! That means he's sitting in his pants, possibly scratching himself. Just call him. Uh, well, just normal call. Just normal call, man. Just normal call. Copy, copy, copy. Paste. So, uh, oh, oh, he's, he's calling back. He's calling, he's calling back. back. He's calling back. Who is Stick. calling back? Whoa! Hello. How's it going? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Right, let's hear your team then. You know why we're calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me enough time to prep for this, man. No, nope, nobody right, gets time. So, That's Marvel. The fun. Yep, Marvel. Marvel, yep. Is Wolverine. Is Who, Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh, he's yep. breaking up, right? Yep, Wolverine. Uh, DC. Uh-huh. Wonder Woman. Ooh. Okay, Wonder Woman. Nice, 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 nice. Anime. Batman. Oh, oh no! I'm... Yeah, I didn't an explain an this. Batman anime. Okay, right. Batman Gotham Knight. Right, he, he's 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 gonna stick with that one. Okay, so Steve will be upset by that because slightly. we we've denied Steve one for I, some. I have a backup if it's gonna be disallowed. Okay, what what's you your backup? Got? Ash Ketchum <laughs> from uh, Origin. Who the fuck from is Origins. That? From what? From Origins. Pokemon Origins. Origins. Is he pretty yep. badass in that? Pretty badass in that. He's much better than Ash in the cartoons. Ah, okay. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Ash from Pokemon? No way! He's, he says he's bad. The Origins one is better. What the fuck was that? By the way, and Stu, Peter Johnny, Gale. Johnny, Stu. What's up, brother? Hey, man. How's it going? <laughs> uh, computer uh, game. And the computer game. Yep. We're going for WoW. Yep. And it's Thrall. Thrall from WoW. Get it in there. Thrall from WoW. Okay. Excellent. We shall... We shall look into them. So tell us a tell us a quick bit about Thrall. Okay, so Thrall is basically a guy. He's an orc who who pauses reality and time. Oh no, we've lost him. Oh no, no, he's away. 
So people think technology is amazing, but technology can suck a dick. Honestly, right? Oh well, we got his team. We I got his team. That's, that's the important thing. That's what we needed him for. Well, uh, we'll see if he... oh, he's back. He's, he's back. back. He's back. He's back. <coughs> no, yep. He's here. Hello. Hello. No, he's 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 gone. Not working. Stay. Okay, we'll just have to search we'll, we'll ourselves. We'll bin it, we'll bin it, right, we'll look right, into we'll the it. Right, we'll bin it. Okay, is it Stuart, S-T-U, or S-T-E? S-T-E. S-T-U. End the call. Right, we're done. Right, okay, so we've got Wolverine. Um, if you're listening to this podcast, you probably don't need, don't need an explanation of Wolverine, but Wolverine's always a good, uh, definitely a foot soldier, I would suggest. Yeah, plus he's unkillable, in a way. Ten. Uh, well. But you could vegetate him, like, remember we talked about Kitty Pride and the what if... Enemy of the state output. Yes. Um, output. Where the fuck did that word come from? Enemy of the state story. So Kitty Pride basically killed him, and if he does come back, he'll have a bone through his brain, so he'll never. He'll be a vegetable basically. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. I suppose eventually his brain might try and push the bone out, but I think it would. Oh, he's calling. Oh, yeah. Stu's back. Stu's back. We'll go with it. Let's go with it. You there? Welcome. Okay. Working again. Yeah, I think my internet is funky. I know, ours is terrible okay. as well. How dare you insult my internet. Alright, cool. <laughs> so yeah, Thrall, t- tell us about him. Thrall, uh, basically, he is picked up by a human uh, and is trained in all the art of war. And he's basically becomes a gladiator within the, the, uh, within the orcs, so he's trained to fight. But he decides he wants to try and sort of, when, when they break out, he goes off and he... Uh, discovers the orcish heritage, which is like all shamanism, tribalism. So he basically can control the powers of the earth, so the elemental powers like um, fire, earth, water, wind. Uh, he then goes on to become leader of the uh, the horde, which is one of the main factions in the game. Yep. So he's a leader. He's uh, in terms of in terms of in game play, shamans, which is what Yik can do in the end. Uh, they can heal, they can buff, they can fight DPS. And they can and they can tank, so they can do all all the four main things you want in a party. So that's that's um, he is a one man tank, isn't he? Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, and essentially, once he gets going, like once you get further into the game, he becomes a quite an integral part, like one of the main sort of leaders of the world. Right. Um, a really, really powerful dude. Like he helps sort of control a lot of the earth. Oh! Oh no! He's sneezed. Oh. We're gonna have to abandon. We're, let's let's abandon. abandon. We need to move on. We need let's, to move yeah. on. Okay, so he, okay, that, so that, we, that's thrall. a good explanation of thrall. thrall so thrall's, thrall can control uh, the elemental powers of the the world, the yeah. landscape, based on what he said there, and he can tank up and all this kind of stuff. So he can take damage. He can he can he can dish out the damage. Seems like a a good all rounder, but also quite powerful. Yeah. Um. But then you got to wonder, if someone picks one of the big characters, could he just get stomped on? But then they would, would the but, big but, character get near him if he can control the elements? he just blow them away or build up? What if there are no elements? Yeah, that's a point. We've never discussed where the fight takes place. Ooh, because it could be... Could but be... Let's, just, let's just put it on... Let's just say it happens on Earth to make it dead easy for most of the characters that could be chosen. But... You know, maybe someone changes where the fight is. Yeah, this is true. Ash Ketchum, right? He said from Pokemon Origins, so as opposed well, you to need to you need to research that one while I riff on Wonder Woman. Yes. Yes, go for yes. it. Yes. So Wonder Woman again, also a good choice. A, another um, kind of decent foot soldier type. Not to say she couldn't be a leader, but yeah, yeah. you can just drop her. You can just drop her into the center of a battle, and she's going to do some damage. You know. Yep. Um, obviously, she's got super strength, speed, durability, all that kind of stuff. She's got the um, I don't know what the names of the gauntlets are, but they can block immense um, cost of energy blasts. She's got the lasso of truth, yep. which might not be the right name for it. I think it is. Um, but again, I think I think I think he's thought too small. Has ours do with uh, Wolverine and Wonder Woman and for all he's thinking about. In this world, possibly, yeah, as sort opposed of. to any. But then that's that's a fair play. So if the battle did take place on Earth, he would have a fair shout, especially when he's got Thrall who can heal as well. Oh, that's true. That the healing. Thing and is although good. Wolverine doesn't need it, so technically, and Wonder Woman's now in 
invincible, so his team's actually pretty... He's got a weak link in there in our eyes, but it's not bad for a, f- a sort of ground-based battle. Per- personally, my, my team's beating both those teams combined. Oh, of course it is, yeah. And in their eyes, their team's beating yours. <laughs> Difference being they're not here to argue. Your problem, not ours. <laughs> um, no, I think I think, I think think they'll both concede that my team is superior yeah. when it gets revealed. It's called the hook, folks. <laughs> a right hook or a left hook? Okay, so what about Ash? You got some information on Ash while I'm being messaged here. He's just the, the very best, like no one ever was. And to catch them was his real quest and to train them was his cause. <laughs> <laughs> um, he does look a bit more badass when you see him there. Uh, to be honest, he's a little bit more badass, but he still looks... Still like a bitch! But if he's got the power of all the Pokemon as his power... Yeah, again, that's that's like... He's got an army. That's on Earth. Maybe that's quality. And there's some of the legendary ones as well, though. Like, is it Voltres and Moltres and, and Mewtwo and Mew? I mean, they're psychic. So they turn around and say, lose. And the other team go, oh, fuck, we've lost. So yes, it's coming back. It's good. Oh, I've changed my Marvel choice. You can't change your choices when you're midway through listening to other people's choices. I'm Son sorry. Son of a bitch. You okay. can't. That's not right, fair. Right, let's choices. do the last person, then we're going to do each of ours. Right, okay. Um, so, is it Kev? Yep. I'm just double checking if he's good for the call. He's not. Do you know it. what? I've really screwed up here because I could have got um, one of one of uh, the other listeners that I know. Um, in on this who's a massive massive comic book let's fan. just phone him and see let's just phone him Kev 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 come on answer it you gotta answer it Kev 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 if not we get towers Kev you can probably see us on his screen and it's like no I'm not answering Kev 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 interestingly enough everyone said it in the order that I've written it in was that your team I almost seen there no as in Marvel DC anime and game that's because that's the order I sent them in the oh is it yeah. that's just imprinted in my brain then yeah interestingly enough no he's not answering oh Kev you've missed your chance to, oh, well, to be get, on the show doesn't get to have his voice there have you got his list though uh, no oh. oh actually I might do I might have a list for him oh wait no definitely not answer let me have a look you have uh, a look then let's hear your list then you want to hear my list? Well, actually, let me just see if... Because I posted it. Right, here it is. So, he wrote... Can you do an impression of Kev? No, no. Sh- shall I do an impression of Kev? If you want. I've never talked to Kev. I don't know <laughs> right, so he's put... Well, goddamn! <laughs> my name's Kev! How do you know it's not... Oh, my name's Kev! Like, proper, menacing, badass, kind of... Why Why did you just go straight for the Mickey Mouse voice? Hey, Pluto! <laughs> Gorsh. Right, um, so he's put as his Marvel character, Scarlet Witch. Oh, 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 oh. OP is Hell, Magic Fun Times, plus something to look at. Nice. Uh, Batman, Scarlet because Witch. Batman. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because Batman. Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast. And that's, that's almost like. Is Sonic Silver faster or... than Flash? I don't think he. It's just the fastest thing. We'd have to have a race. Um, he's going to go with Eren Yeager from Attack oh, on games. Titan as his anime. Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan. I don't know anything about that one. Let's have a look then, shall we? Jaeger. Okay, so Eren. Scarlet Witch. Wait. Um, game anime. So Scarlet Witch. That's a pretty decent, uh, yep. decent choice. She's very powerful. I mean, obviously she knocked out... A- so she really affected reality. She changed reality. That she almost wiped out the mutant race yeah. just with three words. So suck. But then, my ah, badge. But uh, was it that? Wasn't that? Was it? Wasn't that? No, don't that tell was... me because I've got the comic sitting there. Uh, what House of M? Yep. Oh, so you don't know her like almost infamous phrase? No. All right. Okay. I don't know it. I also don't know what this means in relation to the Marvel universe, but. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of movie news chat in this episode as well. Oh, well, now you know. Um, now you all know. Um, we thought this one would be a fun way to start off the episode. Yeah. Just going straight in there with the super uber geek. But I like geekery. it. So good. does this mean anything to you in terms of the Avengers and um, Infinity War? Right, go for it. The film's going to end like this. Don't set it on top of that wire. 
We're all good. We're all good. Does that mean anything to you? What's that? Someone's going to end with a click. That's Roy Mustang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it fucking is. <laughs> with his um, easily flammable gloves. Um, a click of the fingers. Yeah. So, John Shep from Collider said, all the real sweaties are going to know this one and this is how this is how it's going to end or this is what's going to like be the big fallout of um, Infinity War. That's all you're getting. Click of the fingers. That's maybe Thanos with his gauntlet. That's maybe him getting the sixth gem. I genu- genuinely think that they're going to kill off Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and Cap. Uh, and do the Heroes Reborn storyline so they can... Come back again. Come back again later on. I think that they're going to do that. Ooh, that, that's interesting. That I called be... that a long time ago, remember? Yeah, we've talked about... Well, I've talked in great detail about how I think Thor's going. It's just that Thanos is playing the part of Onslaught, who wouldn't even make my list because he's too much of a fucking bitch. Who, Thanos or Onslaught? Both of them. What about Red Skull Onslaught? Uh, also him. Mm. No, no, you're not eating a chocolate bar right now, you <laughs> fuck. You. So Eren Yeager is a member of the Survey Corps and the main protagonist on Attack on Titan. Um, so, powers, 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 powers. Yeah, powers. so basically, well, have you seen the Titans that they have to fight on? Uh, the... the Monsters they have to fight. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, oh, that's him as a Titan. Sorry. So he becomes a Titan or something. I've never watched this. I've heard it's really, really good. But he goes... Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's he, on in He goes massive. As a Titan, his cha- appearance changes quite drastically. He goes to 15 metres high. His hair goes blah, blah, blah. Long enough to... Uh, Liberty bobbity boo. Similar to others with the power of the Titans, Eren's Titan form is well proportioned and physically fit, sporting a well defined lean. So basically, he's massive and strong. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. So he's the big hitter. I so think, you've got for, a big giant. Yeah. Supported by magic. Supported by magic, and then you've got Batman who tells some, them what to do. He so he's this, I'd say the tactician of the team. He he's the man in the computer. What was it they had called it Spider Man? Oh, yeah, yeah, you guy. I can't remember what Ned called yeah. it, but yeah, yeah. I know what you and mean. And then you've got Sonic running around the place like crazy. Yeah. And Maybe just it? lining them up for the Titan to thump into the ground. Yeah, so you've got speed and mass. Speed, strength, magic, and smarts. Nice. Good. That's Covered a lot of angles yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's a good team. Okay, okay. This is powerful. This is powerful. Right, who's going to go first out of me and you then? Should we flip a coin for it? Um, you got a coin. First one to complete the Rubik's Cube wins. That, 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 that. There, done. Well done. But right. no, no, I think flipping a coin is probably more fair. Okay, I was, am I not getting a shot of the Rubik's Cube? Oh, All right, right, okay, let me mess it up again for you. Okay, thanks. Don't look. Okay. Cheat. Right, okay. put that together. Three, two, one, go. You can't just pick it apart and then put it back together. Me like pick apart. <laughs> Job done. That was quicker. Yeah, it was quicker. Still can't find a coin, no. Ain't got no coin. Oh, look at that wall with all that his ash floating out of it. The receipts. Still oh. no coin. Still no coin? There's a parking ticket, which I did pay. Oh, yes. Uh, flip, let's flip something. Flip a battery, flip a CD. You just go first, it's fine. Unless you don't want to go first. I don't know. And I'm going to show you my list so that you know I've not changed it. Okay, check it out. Oh, mini disc. Whoa. You're the white side, I'm the clear side. Samsung disc, okay. I You're the first. white side, you go first. Right, oh. Okay. First up for Marvel, and okay. this surprised me. Right. Reed Richards. Huh. Mm-hmm. I don't have any room to write this. We don't need to. Actually, we don't need to. I've got it written down. Basically, he is kind of God now. And he's already super intelligent and... Oh, you said that he can speak to the other reads of other universes. Well, he's got that as well, but... Oh, right, that's not his main power. His no. current thing is he's basically... He became God. So... when Since when? Since the end of this book. <laughs> You've not read yet. <laughs> I seem to have a lot of the good books, right? Yeah. I've just not managed to get through. I just don't read, man. <laughs> I listened to a three-hour podcast today 
of Joe Rogan and Doing You Hate speaking. But will I read a book? Will I read the written word? Oh, Hell you no. should. Should so he's basically God. So, okay. Yeah, come back from that. Um. Well, we'll have to check out his power levels then. DC. Okay. I put the Flash, and Steve mentioned why earlier. Because he can change time. If my team fucks up, I'm just going to go back in time and have another punt and not fuck up on the not same if, part. Not if he's dead, though. No, he stays in the background. He's he's way in the distance. Okay. Computer games. Yep. Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. Don't know what that is. Basically, there was a Mass, Mass Effect was a trilogy in which Commander Shepard uncovers that there is a extinction level event happening. Okay. With a race called the Reapers or the Reavers, I can't remember. I think it's Reapers. Okay. And he averts it and he saves the universe with this mass effect is that one the bit like there's like a big robot and like a kid and <sighs> alright it doesn't matter oh, okay. well it's 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 amazing games the first one's a bit new but the second and third game brilliant well worth playing and the last one my anime is limited really really limited so I've gone with Scar from Full Metal Alchemist because he does the half transmutation, you know the guy. Oh that, yes, cross of course, yeah. His, his cross on his face. Yeah. Because he does the half transmutation, so he just touches something and breaks it apart, but he doesn't. So he just destroys things yeah, with his hands. Yeah. So he would just like take out something dangerous with transmuting it. You you do realize that Reed Richards basically makes the rest of them pointless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just there to sort of fill in the space. All right. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Okay, since we were going in order of Marvel, DC, etc, etc, etc. So, my Marvel character. Mm-hmm. Remember when Steve said that the Beyonder could only be beaten by one person? <laughs> You've got that one person. That would be the one above all. Yeah. Who is everything more powerful than even the Living Tribunal, the Beyonder. Just the most powerful multiversal being that multiversal. there is. Multiversal. I like it. Yeah, you like it? Eh? That's, that's good. So, I don't know where Reed Richards stacks up on that, but in my research, Reed Richards doesn't even come close to it. But I don't know. Okay. Okay. Right. For DC, Uh I have the Anti-Monitor. Okay. Okay. You know who he is? Nope. No? Okay, so he's another multiverse being. So you've just basically googled most powerful being in Marvel. But no, but I most remember... Most powerful... Right, okay. No, but I remember these guys. I just couldn't right. remember the fucking names, right? So the Anti-Monitor... Now, there's someone... It wasn't called Parallax. There was someone that was, like, the DC Universe's really powerful fucking top guy. Mm-hmm. But the Anti-Monitor is a multiverse villain. And right. above all that. And was their kind of their last big evil villain that just destroyed the entire well, all the multiverse right okay I don't know how he was stopped um, I can pull up his powers maybe in a second but what was the name Imperiax was a, a general continuity villain who was like the top guy right and okay. then Anti-Monitor came in and just as well destroyed way more stuff than him I suppose that's the hard part when you've got all these like universes full of heroes and villains is you always want to have that threat and then you always want to have a bigger threat and then you want to raise the stakes constantly raise it and then eventually you end up with like this just supreme being and it's some fluky loophole basically that they're managing to defeat them or the being goes actually you know what you're not worth my time he, things like that he is dreadfully responsible for more deaths than any other known DC supervillain has destroyed thousands of universes. He was powerful enough to kill a distracted Supergirl. Um, what else? I see. The Anti Monitor was also responsible for the death of Barry Allen. Okay. So you can suck a dick. Yeah, but then in his dying after, seconds, he went after back capturing in time. Barry because his ability to transverse the multiverse and aided made him a dangerous variable. The Anti Monitor created an antimatter cannon that would destroy. The then five remaining Earths with a concentrated beam much faster than a wave of entropy he had originally unleashed. Okay. The cannon was destroyed by the Flash when he escaped the force of, uh, 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 causing it to explode and Barry to, to disintegrate. Ah, okay. Uh, the anti-monitor is... 
nine from varying from nine feet tall to hundreds of meters tall vastly superhuman strength extraordinary durability I think this is Crisis from Infinite Earths he was the villain of. By the end of Crisis series he was able to effort effortlessly withstand blows from Superman even surviving a blue star going supernova. I don't know if that means anything to you. Right. Um, oh, they've got just a massive list. Oh, he's not immortal. He may be ultimately indestructible as long as the antimatter universe exists. Having been destroyed with immense effort at the end of Crisis, he is recreated by his universe just as he's been formed originally. Oh, okay. So he has been defeated, but, he but he's been reset. But he's basically destroyed everyone Ooh, at okay. one point, including a couple of your top heroes there. So he's a universal, well, multiversal threat. Mm -hmm. um, I'll need to get God to deal with him. I just don't think God will be able to take it. Mm. We'll have to look at what Reed Richards' powers are on and see if, if there's any uh, examples of him fighting other powerful beings. Um, for my anime, I'm choosing Wiz from Dragon Ball Z. Okay. So, you know Goku, right? Mm hmm And how he's... The people all the time argue about who's more powerful, Goku or Superman. Yeah. Yeah. So Goku's got, like, Super Saiyan level 4, and then he went to Super Saiyan God level with blue hair and there's probably a new version by now as well but that was up to 2015 yep um and there was a being called oh fuck i forgot this the, the, the being's name but whoever this being was he came to fight goku finding out that goku was the strongest person in the galaxy they fought to a standstill but this person was only using 70 percent of their powers and wiz is that person's coach and twice as powerful as him. So he um, can destroy planets, solar systems, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Another universal monstrous threat, but he's like... I, th I consider him more of a fighter. Mm -hmm. And then for my gaming person, it's Sephiroth. Yeah. Because... Sephiroth's fucking badass. Mm -hmm. So you'd be quite upset when Steve chose Cloud. When he said Cloud, I was like, motherfucker! Uh, why, did I, why did I not... Th I always think Sephiroth, but why would I not go with Cloud? Yeah. If you think of the villain, you've got to think of the hero who defeats him in the end, because the heroes always win, whether they should or not. The heroes always That's win. That's true. That is very true. See, I toyed with... Um, in the same vein of Reed Richards, I toyed with Molecule Man and Doctor Doom. Um, but... I mean, Reed reconstructed Earth at the end of... Se the, sorry, I'm spoiling Secret Wars for you, basically. But he reconstructs Earth and the multiverse at the end of it. Okay. Uh, and brings his family back from the dead so he's, he can resurrect teams if they get defeated. He just has to stay in the background and keep bringing the team back. I'm pretty sure that um, Anti-Monitor can do that. And the one above all, he is the he was meant to be the top top Marvel guy I think the advantage my team would have is their heroes and like I just said heroes always win well anti monitors a villain and so Sephiroth but Wiz is not is, is a hero and the one above all is above all those things so you know what I'm thinking we could argue who the most powerful one is or we could argue who the coolest team would be because I think having the most powerful one would just argue all night. Because he'd be like, yeah, well, the Beyonder's been defeated, Batman's been defeated, you know. I would suggest that I've got two gods on my team, whereas you've got one. See, you're just going for the whole, like, ten-year-old with the toys going, my toys are better. <laughs> well, that's the point of it, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But that's the thing, but... we, we just end up going, well, no, actually, because my toys are better, because... If your toys beat mine, then I would just go back in time and try again. And I've got God who can anti just... anti killed him. He can just destroy your universes and recreate them elsewhere. I'll, I'll build planets Let, around let's your just, let, let, Let's just literally ask, ask Google you, it? if the one above all is more powerful than Reed Richards. Yeah, but it's going to go for Reed Richards, leader of the Fantastic Four, not Reed Richards, the God. Well, it might do, though. Even then, if we go past Reed Richards... Commander Shepard saved the universe on multiple occasions. Yeah. He's a hero from Who computer is? games. Oh, right. Yeah, but I mean, he's... I mean, okay, so... Where's everyone else's team? Right, so I think Steve's got a good shout with Beyonder. 
being on his team. Um, yeah, he can beat Andy Murray. <laughs> again, I don't think so. But, well, maybe, I don't know. Um, this isn't as easy as I Wolverine, thought it was going to be. Wolverine, Wonder Woman, they're not going to stand up to people like Reed Richards, the one above all. They'd Scarlet be, uh, Witch, even, I don't think. They could be. You know who I had thought of? My very first Marvel what, character. What we could do is do Marvel versus Marvel, DC versus DC. I think. Can Ooh, I tell you some things about the one above all? Last minute entry. Who? Our last minute entry. Who? Who? Who's Mrs. Angie? A woman. A woman. A woman. A oh, woman. We have a woman's point of view on the oh, show. That's woman. fantastic. Woman, woman, woman. Woman. So Angie would pick Wonder Woman for DC. Of course she would. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but <laughs> Thor for Marvel. Hmm. Kajar from World of War- World of Warcraft. Right. And Goku. <sighs> Super Saiyan blue haired Goku. Is that what you said? No, no. I just, I just, I okay. flipped. Wes beats Goku. Sorry. <laughs> not in the not in the tournament. Have you been reading the the reviews on a? Uh... Is Wes in the tournament? I don't know. I doubt it. Um, I want to. I want to read you some stuff about the one above all since you did it with uh, Reed Richards. Yeah. Yeah. So everything about him is va- variable, variable, variable. I mean, does he not look like God? Should look. He looks like... Like, like Reed Richards. <laughs> <laughs> the one above all is actually Reed Richards. Oh. <laughs> Imagine it was. Eh? I don't know. Uh, apparently responsible for the existence of all life in the multiverse and possibly beyond. The one above all is the master and sole superior of the cosmic overseer and arbitrator known as the Living Tribunal, whose faces embody... Equity, vengeance, well, okay. Oh, stop it. When the pregnant Susan Storm <laughs> feared for her husband's possible death at the hands of the all powerful Silver Surfer, Watu the Watcher. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Watu the Watcher I, tells I her say, that there people. is only one being that is truly all powerful and that his only weapon is love. During an encounter with Supreme Sorcerer Doctor Strange, the cosmic entity Eternity tells Strange, I and my brother Death comprise all of your reality. Neither he nor I are God, for God rules all realities. See, Strange was a Strange was a consideration as well. It was my gut. When yeah. Thor once compared himself and Odin to various other gods and abstract beings in terms of power, he notes, and tis said that a being called the Living Tribunal, the final judge, hath the power to enforce his will upon any cosmos he doth judge, and tis said his power is supreme in all the multiverse. Even I, son of one of the mightiest of all gods, finds it impossible to conceive of such a level of power, and tis a humbling thought to consider how much greater the creator of all universes must be than that of all of his creations combined. I think we need to limit it next time. Yeah. We're I did just... say I'd go I'd go to the... Yeah. The Living Tribunal is said to be the representative of one whose might exceeds even eternity. So yeah, I. he is above the universe which Reed Richards lives in. As God of. Mm-hmm. I would suggest. But anyway, in terms of what team's coolest, in a way, my team is less cool because I went to Godlike yes. with two of them. But Sephiroth is probably the coolest com- uh, computer game one. Sephiroth is probably the... Yeah, because as much as Cloud beat him, Sephiroth looks so fucking cool. Sephiroth is badass. And see, in Crisis Core, the game set before Final Fantasy 1... Is that the one where Sephiroth is a, a face? Yes. I really want to watch that. It's the, Well, it's, it's a game. Oh, right. Um, it, he is a face to start with. But it's got the story of him turning as well. Nice. But it's done with more up-to-date animations and it looks fucking sweet. And you see it's you see Cloud's involvement and Zack's involvement and all this sort of stuff. Um, and he's pretty badass in that. I remember, do you remember me showing you the fight between Sephiroth and Jill and Genesis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking sweet. I thought yeah. that was a... I think a that was from a, a game. No, that's it's from a game. game. That's how good it was. So, 
Okay, well, we say that Sephiroth wins the computer game round just for being the coolest. Uh, I mean, I, the thing is, I don't know the other guys, but World of Warcraft, the orcs are quite cool, but I don't know if they're... Are they really Sephiroth they're cool? Not, they're not Sephiroth level. That's the thing. No one is. They're not, they're not Sephiroth level in terms of power. Cloud can beat him, but he's not as fucking sweet. And also, if why didn't Sephiroth just kill Cloud earlier on in the game? He tried. Did he, he? He didn't... What he, was... He didn't under... He didn't... Rate him. No, because when Cloud first encounters Sephiroth, he's not soldier first class, he's just standard soldier. Zack's the first class. How does it work again? Because there's one that's got black hair, and you kind of replay the game. That's Zack. That's Zack, who was the first... Uh, who was... Sorry guys, I need to move the mic a little bit. Cloud basically thought he was Zack after his uh, Mako poisoning. So his memories are fucked I would love to play up. that game over you if... if should. Did they not? Did they not remake it, but make it more gorgeous? There is a remake in the works. The I'm moment. going to get that. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, um, you can get it for your phone. You can get it on. No, I want to get the still. remake. I want it to be looking nice. You know. Yeah, I, it's it's still so good to play now. See, I never played it. It sounds <sighs> sad, but my friend played it, yeah. and I watched him play it. Oh, you should. And you we should. used to we used to do the voices for the each character for the. Text. Text. Aye. And the little videos and stuff. We actually ended up filming it at one point and trying to see if we could make like a little movie out of it. Ha, <laughs> nice. It didn't really work. Um, okay, in terms of the Marvel section then, we've got the Anti-Monitor. No, no, we've got the one, bu- one above all, Scarlet Witch, the Beyonder, and Wolverine. Now, I still, I still think the one above all would kill, well, everyone on the list combined. Right. So let's just take him... Let's just assume that he will say, I'm above all this, so I'm out. Part of Paul's team, because Paul put in bits of a team he didn't put in a finished article, though. Oh, right, okay. He says that One Punch Man would stomp the one above all. He just has to get one punch in. See, that's just the... This is where it starts to get ridiculous. See, I hate characters like that because mm. it's like and Squirrel Girl. But how? So you could, you could get you you could get one punch in and kill me. Cool. Um, I'm sitting here. You've not got to me yet. You're dead. Reality's gone. But 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 reality's gone. I've punched your you've attempt. Not got to me. I punched your attempt to you kill. You punch me. his attempt. I don't see, know. See, one it's punch, just one punch. <laughs> one punch man and Squirrel Girl, I think, are stupid, and I don't I don't I don't rate them in any way. I think they're just. They're someone who's managed to get in charge of a magazine and went, let's make that, that'd be fucking cool and funny. And it's like, no, it's stupid. <laughs> stupid as hell. Yeah. But I, I don't know enough about One Punch Man, but I just think it sounds silly. Um. So then I think it really would, would come down to Reed Richards and The Beyonder. You think that would be the for the coolness? For the coolness? Wolverine would be the, the coolness. The one about... Oh, Just for the cigar smoking. Oh, the... yeah, of course. Wolverine would be the coolest, right? Yeah, he would be right in there with this. In fact, well, for, I, for I my picture... money, Wolverine's the coolest out of everyone. Yeah, I see. I picture Wolverine like with the, the leather jacket and the, the vest and the dog tags and cigar and sometimes a cowboy hat type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you know, he's just cool. Actually, yeah, Wolverine is the coolest. Yeah, so we're going for that for Marvel. No one is, no one is above Wolverine's cool, not even the one above all. No. Nah. No. He's just a glowing thing but is he the one above all in coolness no he's not because Wolverine is yeah okay yeah Um, who else have we got who have we got for DC Um, although Scarlet Witch is hot yeah in the MCU not so much as the comics not so much in the comics sorry Um, oh we uh, we had Thor as well though Thor's pretty cool Thor is cool yeah but we're talking comics we're not talking movies if it was movies Thor like Chris Hemsworth and Hugh Jackman are both cool as shit so that would make it really tough. Battle of the Aussies. Yeah, that's true. But I still think Wolverine's probably cooler. Right. Yeah? Yeah. No, no, I agree. Okay, in terms of DC, we've got Preacher, which I don't know anything about him. Jesse's pretty cool. Wonder Woman. You're right. Yep. Anti-Monitor. Mm. So, OP villain, basically. Yep. Um, <laughs> Batman. Right. And who did you choose? Flash. Flash. Flash isn't really that cool. He's not that cool. No, he's a bit of a dweeb. I don't know much about Preacher, but the thing is, Batman's 
Really Batman's cool. pretty cool. I, I don't know, I think you'd like Preacher. He um, drinks and fucks his way across America with a vampire and his girlfriend. Uh, he sounds amazing. <laughs> and he, he just he's trying to find God so he can kill him. Is he trying to kill him? I think he's trying to kill him. He sounds even better. Yeah. Does he smoke fags like Constantine? Yes, constantly. Brilliant. I, I mean, and he can fight. He's the as far as I've seen the portrayal of him by Dominic Cooper. I've only seen a couple of episodes. It doesn't quite cut it in comparison to. How does he look in the comic? Comic. Do you want to see Jesse Custer? Oh, I'm I'm not talking, and neither are you. That's <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Sorry, folks. What happened um, to the silence? What happened to it? Okay, well, since you're looking at that, the last one is. Well, have you on? Oh, he looks pretty cool. Like he's a proper like pretty anime. badass. Yeah. Oh, and look, there he is with um, Arseface and Cassidy. <laughs> Arseface. Arseface tries to kill himself. Like his um, basically him and his friend tried to blow their own faces off with shotguns, like Kurt Cobain. Nice. His friend manages. He fucks himself up instead. So it's a uh, bit of a ball bag, then, eh? Yeah. And then that's a. Uh, you gonna show me his wench? No, I was gonna say that's Dominic Cooper playing him. Nah. Is it Dominic Cooper? He should. The yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. The guy looks like a guy who would have long hair. Yeah. But no, he's, he's more like a biker cool. type. He drinks, smokes, fucks, does the lot. Surely Jason Momoa would play him if he wasn't playing Aquaman. He's, he's not Midwestern Texas enough, Midwestern America enough to play. Oh right, Jesse. okay. Jesse's proper like American preacher, man of God. Suddenly denounces well, it. How did they, ma'am? That kind of shit. <coughs> yep, exactly like that. Have I put my booties at the bottom of your bed? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with anime now. Mm-hmm. So we've got Major from Ghost in the Shell. Right. We've got um, Ash Ketchum. Yep. We've got Wiz from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> He's named after a P. And we've got Aaron Yeager. Oh shit, we forgot to talk about Sonic. Sonic's not that cool. He had a whole game franchise made after him. Yeah, but would you want to be seen in the street with him? Would you want to be seen hanging out in a bar with him? Or Sephiroth. Or Sephiroth. I actually don't think I'd want to be anywhere near Sephiroth, to be fair. Well, I'd He's never, a bit too cool. I never tried to dye my hair blue, but I did try and make it white. Okie dokie, how'd that work out for you? Um, I could only really get a bleach blonde one day it's going to happen and you're not going to want it no but then if it did happen if, uh, I can always dye it black mm, this is you know what I mean so I've got double options yeah I'll probably lose it before then anyway <laughs> age will ravage me <laughs> um, yeah you made a fair point so we've got Aaron Yeager um, Aaron Yeager was major or uh, fuck I just lost it there Ash, or we've got Scar. Scar. I know who I'm choosing. Who's that? Scar. Yeah, he's Scar's fucking, fucking cool as yeah. shit. He, he's like, he's a, he's, he's just, like the Piccolo of the show. He's like um, that's for Dragon Ball Z fans, or kind of maybe he's not quite Vegeta. He's more like Piccolo, and he's I think he's actually voiced by Piccolo. The guy who voices Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z. I think so. Um, who also voiced Wolverine in the. Not the X-Men cartoon. We really love the one after that. Right, okay. Where they end up fighting Apocalypse at the very end. Right. Um, or he's kind of like... Um, oh, shit, I had the name of someone there that I could relate it to for everyone else. But he's kind of like he's kind of like Wolverine in a way. He's kind of like Magneto? Like, he's kind of like that badass sort of... Yeah, because he, he, he gets presented as a villain, obviously. Yep, but to he's, start with. To but start, then he turns... But then well, he doesn't helpful. turn... No, he just he has mission he, he kind just, of aligns with the the cool thing about FMV Full Metal Alchemist, which I've been watching this week. FMA. Yeah, what did I say? FMV. Oh right, yeah. It's a, it's a <laughs> film motion video. Or something, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. It? yeah. FMA, that's right. <laughs> um, is that there's so many thing, so many people with so many agendas attacking different areas, and you're like, oh, that's the bad guy. Oh, they're bad guys too, and these ones are bad. These are these people are good, and it's like actually no, it's all about. 
w- once you actually see the greater picture, mm. it's very, uh, it's very clever. It's very clever. There's only one good guy in that, and that's Maze Hughes. One, you would think he's a real. I just watched that episode. Uh, he's the purest, I think. Is he? The, is he the purest? He's probably the not purest the Elric character. Elric, Elric brothers. I just don't think it. Hughes has got enough badass in him at all to even be in the military. I don't know. He's got. He gets pretty badass. Badass near the end of uh, that episode we're talking Does about. Does he? Yeah, remember he tries to throw the knife at. The, he throws the knife at. Oh, I've, I, I don't remember her name. Is it Lust? Lust. Uh, yeah, and then tries to kill. I can see why she's come back. Yes. Oh yes. But that's we don't want to give too many spoilers. She's not a Winry Rock Bell though, is she? Let's not talk about Winry. <laughs> Is that good or bad? It's good. It's good. Oh, okay. But it's, it's also bad. <laughs> she looks too much like someone. Oh, okay. As much as people can look like anime characters. Yeah, obviously. You know, yeah. well, some some girls out there fucking do when they've done that. That's other, very true, actually. Face paint. It's, it's not makeup true. anymore. It's face paint. Yeah. <laughs> you see them without the makeup. They just look like a thumb with eyes. Girls have got some cheek, eh? Ah. Honestly. Hopefully, too. Well, it's a big leg. <laughs> Anyway, so let's let's recap our cool team and round this one up. So we're choosing who's the coolest out of everyone. Yeah, we'll go for the cool team. Right, fine. And then we'll we'll give credit to whoever brought them to the table. So up first for Marvel. Up first for Marvel is Wolverine, chosen by Stewie. Cheers, Stu. Nice one, Stu. He is probably the coolest Marvel character. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like not even not just on this list, just it was when they they killed him off, and it's like. Right, okay. And he had a good death, but... Is he back already? Yeah. He came back pretty quick. Um, but not that Wolverine. That Wolverine's still dead. Oh. That's the hook. Mm-hmm. DC. Oh, did we ever decide who is the coolest in DC? I thought we went with Preacher. Really? Over Batman? It's tough. I would say Preacher's cooler than Batman. Because um, Batman tends not to be cool. He's more just stoic. Yeah. And who do you really want to be? I'd rather have the word of God. I Bam, think... Superman, stop what you're doing, okay. I, I, I'd be pretty down with that, <coughs> personally. Um, me. Being Batman would be pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah. You go around just, just being able to go, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Uh, I would... I would, I would be happy to play either That was them. pretty funny in the Justice League trailer when they're speaking to Gordon and then he turns around and just flashes still standing and he's like, oh, wow, they actually do that? That's that's, that's kind of rude. He <laughs> <laughs> takes off himself. Let's <gasps> figure out our cosplays. Ah, okay. You can be the Flash. Because <laughs> he's a nerd. I know who I'd want to dress up as. Chuck from Chuck. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's it's easy, but it would suit me. Oh, okay. To be a nerd herder, not actually Chuck, but a nerd herder. I don't know what you're saying, but okay, okay, sure thing. Um, so are we going preacher? I don't know. Is it just too easy to just go Batman? Yeah, I like preacher. I think preacher's cooler than Batman. Yeah. Yeah, you should read it, or at least watch it. But you'd be better reading it. How about I don't do either? Oh, you could just Wikipedia. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah. That's that's why I've I was I had when as soon as you said like pick these characters for whatever I was like I know all the strongest characters in the entire thing because I <laughs> we searched who went I, I was always like who wins this fight who wins this fight but who wins this matchup we well, should start looking at like matching people up specifically so like Apocalypse versus Red Skull's onslaught or and, someone like that and then discussing the battle well, presumably Red Skull's onslaught stronger than onslaught. Theref- I think so. Therefore... Because there's less internal conflict going on. Yeah. Therefore, I think that's straight away po- Apocalypse loses because he was scared of Onslaught anyway. Yeah, that's right. He stood and just watched, didn't he? With um, Uatu. The two of them just stood and watched. I forgot about that. But right. don't go any further because I've not finished that one yet. Yeah. Um. But okay, let's go with Preacher. Fuck it. Yeah. Preacher. Preacher like Wolverine would have a good time as well. Yes. They would just drink and drink and drink and drink and then fight. fuck. Not each other. other. No. <laughs> We're so in tune. <laughs> um, and then we've got the anime characters. Ooh. Oh, did we choose? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Scar. Scar. That's He's right. fucking badass. Yeah. Scar. That and, was easy. And then... That was me. Compu- that was you. That was me. That was you. And Preacher was... Was Steve. Steve. Sorry, we, we almost forgot to shout out for Steve. 
Uh, and then we've got... Stu, Steve, Stoby, all providing. Sephiroth for the coolest computer game character. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. I do love Cloud. He's awesome. But Sephiroth's just... Yeah. Badass. <sighs> Could have gone for Tifa. Are you a Tifa or an Aerith guy? Can't remember which one's which. Tifa was the fighter. Aerith was the magic one that gets killed halfway through Seven. I would need to see that. By Sephiroth. Yeah, no, I know, I remember, but yeah. I, I think Tifa's cooler. I can't honestly remember how they look, <coughs> so it's hard for me to make that choice. I've yep. got to say, Tifa. I'm going to pull it up. I would Google Tifa cosplay. Oh, really? Is it good times? <laughs> Tifa Lockhart. Yep, that's the one. she get killed? No, she doesn't get killed. Is there not one that wears kind of blue? Yeah, that's Aerith. Maybe I like Aerith better. Yeah, I'm not really, I don't really like that. Ah. No, but she's badass. Aerith. I've not spelled that correctly. I can't remember her name. Yeah, I mean, I would rather hang out with the magic one anyway. Right. Um, because, you know, magic. Kick ass. But. That's an Advent Children outfit. That's the coolest team. There we go. That, that's the official Buff Geek coolest absolute, team. Absolute badass Total shagger back in the day. Mm. But you get the brooding of Batman as well. Preacher, I presume, is kind of the same. Yeah. Occasionally you'll get like a wee a wee moment where he's like, Fucking all those bitches. So difficult. <laughs> on my soul. I, I actually saying that when I say he fucks his way across America, it's with the same woman, mostly. Well, I can I can respect that. Yeah. I can respect that. Tulip. That's her name. Hmm. Blonde, brunette, redhead? Blonde. And this, and she's dark and dark hair, dark skin, and the TV show. For ethnicity purposes, probably. No, probably just the best actress for the job. But really? But really, she's a good actress. Yeah, but you should really be getting. I think that the person should look like the person from the comic. Yeah. It kind of, if you want to go your own way with the TV show, it's easier to do it if they don't look like them. Yeah, fair enough, fuck it. Um, he does. Good. Sephiroth? Yeah. I mean... Do, 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 they're all kind of similar characters. Yeah, and they're, they're all the ones we'd want to They're all the cool with. ones. Yeah. yeah, they're all like, if I couldn't be him, I'd like to be his pal mm-hmm. and go out drinking with him. Yep. And That's why you're here with me. Keep him away from my... Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. And your woman. <laughs> maybe, maybe you'd offer your woman up. Have her. I just need to watch. <laughs> no, I'd want to learn the secret of his powers and steal them from him. Help me. <laughs> He's a heel! <laughs> well, that was... Our teams and then our amalgamated coolness team because the powers team was just the would powers just team was be getting pay. I've got multiple gods, so do I. Yeah. And I found in this issue here, in issue one four seven, <laughs> that the Beyonder actually defeated the. <laughs> oh God! But we should try and do specific matchups and then discuss some in great like depth. research, like just one fight. So like I'll go away and basically figure out ways that Apocalypse could win. Yeah, and then we'll see. We'll need to make a rating system and a score system so it can be done scientifically. Ooh, this is starting to get. This is this starting to get, get deep, right? Complicated. You could make a spreadsheet. Com- no, no, complex. Steve, could, Steve nah, could make a no. spreadsheet. Stu or Steve, you guys are on this, right? Yeah, thought so. Good ah, lads. Good lads. Good lads. And uh, SSW heavyweight champion Mikey ratings. I really want to hear your one. You can't put yourself in it. You're not an anime character. You're not. You may be a wrestler, but you're not one of those uh, aforementioned on the list. So I want to hear your one too. And we want to hear everyone's. South Southwest Wrestling. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Super Sexy Wrestling. Yes, that's it. Uh... Aha. Um, well, goddamn. We've finished it. We have. We've got our team done. This was a fun podcast. It was totally fun and random. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. people miss the randomness, I think. I think they do. Thank you to everyone who answered the phone. Thanks to Kev for sending in your entry. Thanks to Angie for sending in a late entry as well. Thanks to Paul for sending in half an entry. Yeah. 
and dropping some one punch man bullshit on me <laughs> um I can't remember, is it Paul that watches Dragon Ball Z? Yes. Oh, so he'll, Dragon Ball Super. He'll probably go, well, actually, Wiz gets defeated by. He did write that. Um, oh, well, he might talk about Wiz. I, he did write something about it when I first posted it. Um, that Wiz would beat everyone or something. No, not about Wiz. Um, Maybe Beerus? He says, one punch man for the anime character, and if we're going for OP team, otherwise he'd have picked Vegeta. And, oh, sorry, he's got Thanos and White Lantern and don't know about the game character. So oh, right. he's still got an incomplete team, though. Incomplete so team it doesn't work. Enter. No, it doesn't get entered. But Thanos would have been a, not a bad for, choice. For, for coolness, if we're just talking coolness, Vegeta would be would have been my choice. Yeah. But was there's like th- three or four people that I can think of that would be, beat Vegeta in a fight, and I I wanted to win. Right. You know. Cocker. Excuse <laughs> me. Okay, so... I want to thank the sponsors of the show. Each and every episode of the podcast, it's Alpha Fitness. They are our sponsors for August as well, funnily enough. Wow. Really nice of them, right? That's, that's the 13th month in a row. Indeed. I know these guys are <laughs> they're very giving with their fitness, <coughs> their nutritional advice, the whole thing. The and givers, you... not takers. Oh, yes. Yes. Pitchers, not catchers. Got you. I thought you meant like click, click, pitchers. Or more beers, smash. No, no, pictures, P I T C H. Not pictures, pictures. Yes, I'm with you now. You should be. Yeah. Thank you. I keep shining, I've got this like, light on a, a pen. I keep flashing a torch in his face. Fucking utility pens. There was one time I found a pen on a bus. And I, was, I was going to uh, an exam. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there, and the exam started, and I'm sitting in front, right in front of the teacher, and I'm like, hmm. Click, how click. does this work? And I'm twisting at nothing. And then the button, the button on the top went down at an angle rather than straight down. And I pushed, pushed it down. This flame shot out the top, and I'm like, "You're just, kidding me!" I looked at the teacher, and he, went, he just put his hand out. I was like, "Yeah, there you go." <laughs> I fucking shit myself, man! <laughs> like nearly took my eyebrows off. Found Batman's pen. <laughs> Holy shit! Just it, nothing was said. He just went hand out. I just handed it over, and he handed me another pen. And I started drinking. <laughs> Did you pass? Oh, fuck no! I was crafting design. I was terrible at crafting design. I wasn't crafty or designy. designy. No. No. Neither was that um, explanation. No, I wasn't no. crafty at all, was it? No. Sign off, motherfucker. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for taking part, guys. You'll find me in the usual place, the Buff Geek Podcast blog at wordpress.com or at dstoby. Over to the big guy to finish his piece about the sponsors and sign off. Yes, indeed. You will get 20% off any Alpha Fitness product in August if you quote code GeekBuff. That's the new code. It's not Buff Geek anymore. It's Geek Buff. So if you try and use Buff Geek, I'll be like, you know what? You've not listened to the new podcast, Joe. You're fucking out. <laughs> you, you like that one, eh? I just fucking... I just don't know why you think this shit up, man. It's amazing, right? This is so out there. This is why I'm a marketing genius. Out the cube thinking. Indeed. Um, you can find me, him, us, um, possibly all of us that's been on the show tonight <laughs> at the Buff Geek podcast blog dot wordpress dot com I don't know why that one trips me up anyway it's probably because I ain't so smart I'm just the voice just a voice sometimes a body for things that Pleacher likes to do don't know what I'm doing now anyway we're going to go and we're going to listen to some random version of Sephiroth's music and we're going to come back very quickly and do the Game of Thrones Episode 3 Season 7 podcast. So, if you like Game of Thrones, and you like the sound of our voices, our sweet, sweet voices, come back and listen to us. Hashtag, the Buff Geek Podcast. I'll catch them. I'll catch them all. <laughs>